Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Joey Does Tech, and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video. Yep, no problem. This is a Nintendo Game Boy Advanced SP. When I was younger, I had the tribal version. This is the standard normal one. I've done an unboxing of this on my channel previously, I think a couple of days ago, and make sure to click the link either in the description or on the screen somewhere, I think. <clears throat> there if you want to see that unboxing vid. Today my focus is pretty simple and I am so hyped. Usually we work on Nintendo DS lights. Today I am taking this apart and trying to fix the issue that we have which is the on and off button. Sometimes when I switch it into on it doesn't turn on. I have been told that this is an easy fix and today is the first time I'm going to be taking apart a Game Boy Advance SP. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Enjoy! And firstly, I want to apologise for the poor recording last time I recorded the uh, the unboxing of this. It was so bright that you couldn't see anything. <laughs> and you actually, in fact, I, I told people to wear sunglasses when they watch the video, so apologies for that. In terms of difficulty for dissembling the, uh, the device, I think it's a bit easier than the Nintendo DS Lite, but I'm going to hold my breath until I've actually done it myself. The screwdriver bits for this are going to be the Tri-Wing 2.0, as well as a triple zero Phillips head. So let's get into it. I'm, I'm quite nervous, I'm quite excited as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little. Okay, so first off, we need to take the battery cover off. So let's do that. This screw here. By the looks of it, the, the, the triple zero doesn't really fit too well, so let's swap it. I'm gonna go for the double zero Phillips and see if that works better, which I think it does almost instantly. So let's take this out. And there's the battery, which you should just be able to... Now I can't really see, it's a little bit bulged I think. Maybe a tiny, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but that actually looks in pretty decent condition, I think. And then we have a couple of screws, so I believe, I was told there were six, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, there it is down here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Switch over to the tri-head, take these out, we'll start with this one down here. Uh, is that, that's not tri-head, that's the first one. I'm gonna line these up as they appear on the device as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one next up here. I believe this one hasn't actually been opened especially from how tight the screws are. I've got a couple of games with this one. I've got Pokemon Blue, i got uh, Mario Kart, and I also got Super Mario Land. So the games I got with this are unbelievable, and I can't wait to get this properly working. Like I said, the, the fault's very minor. I can turn it on, but it's quite annoying because when you go to switch it on, it doesn't turn on sometimes. So that should be all of those removed, and now we should just be able to take the back off. Should be in the keyword. And it should be... it. It seems relatively simple. Well, I don't want these springs to fall out, so I'm just gonna push these in. And there we have it, look at that. That's the, the first back of a Game Boy Advance SP I've ever seen. It's got some writing on it. I'm just gonna put this down to the side for a second. And this is the inside of the SP. Now, I'm no expert, obviously, but it looks in pretty good condition. I don't know what you guys can tell me in the comments whether you think it's in, uh, in good condition or not. It's the power button that's here is the one that seems to be playing me up a little bit. What I am gonna do, before I get into that, I'm just gonna take the power slider out and have a check because one of the videos that I saw did mention that maybe what it could be is this is snapped. So this is actually what gives the Game Boy Advance SP on a switch feel, so like a click. This itself doesn't do that. So this is, this just, pings up and down. It doesn't it doesn't even ping, sorry. It just slides up and down. It doesn't it doesn't ping back. You see it literally just goes down up. There is no clicky feel. So I'm just going to put some isopropyl alcohol in here just to make this maybe a little bit smoother. Um, see if that's the reason why it's not why it's not actually going up and down properly. So I'm just going to do that real quick now. Okay. So that's the IPA on the end of the Q-tip. Q-tip cotton bud. Whatever everyone calls it. And then I'm just going to simply Dab it in here. Just move this up and down. A little bit more in there. Move this up and down a little bit. Not too much though. And then just kind of let it all dry, I guess. Now again, I think this is in great condition, man. This SP looks amazing. Whilst I've got the IPA, might as well just any rust or anything here I see on the large port. A tiny little bit of rust. Nothing major at all, in fact, I think. Relatively good to be honest. Just a little bit of grimy dirt in the nooks and crannies But I'm looking to give this a proper clean in a separate video. Whilst we're this deep into it I will take out the rest of it and just have a look at the the, uh, the quality of the buttons 
and see if any of those need a real quick clean. Just so you guys can see what I'm talking about further when I said about the clickiness. So I've just put the button in. So this is obviously without the motherboard. Hear that? So this is actually what does the clicking. Seems to be okay, there seems to be nothing broke in here. On that note, I'm just gonna slide some IPA down here to make the clicking maybe a little bit easier. Swap back to the old Phillips. I believe we have three screws, one here, one here, and one here, so I'm just gonna remove those. This is for the motherboard. I will most probably look at doing a shell swap on this particular model, because my first one, I'm, I'm pretty hyped and excited to, to dive into it. Now I think somebody said about the ribbon cable, so I can't just yank this off. I need to be very careful when lifting it up, because there is in fact a ribbon cable for the screen up top. Should try and remove this? See that? There's the ribbon cable. And apparently all we need to do is just get our, get our fingers down there. It's, a, it's, just a, it's just a simple clip. So we, one that side, boom. One this side, if I can get to it, which I, at the moment I can't, because I've got gloves on, so I don't, I don't think that's helping the, the nail situation that I've currently got going on. What about if I just use this? There we go. That's undone the other clasp, and then I should just be able to Lift it out, and there we have it, man. Motherboard of a Game Boy Advance SP. Wow. I'm not gonna go any further than this, okay? So I, I, w I will look at doing uh, a shell replacement, and maybe even just a clean first, to see how, see how immaculate I can get the shell. But the buttons themselves, how are they looking? Because I know the speaker just falls out, and I know these ones all just fall out. That's the membranes and the buttons. I, don't, I, I think they actually look fine, like no issues at all. Not even that dirty, to be honest with you. Like really, really good condition. And then let's just look at the D-pad one really quick. A little bit, of, little bit of grime and grub on the D-pad. Tiniest, tiniest little bit. So I'll quickly just get that off. Again, cotton bud, IPA. I'm just gonna really quickly get that grub off. And just like that, we're gonna we're gonna try and put it back together. <laughs> okay, relatively simple. Nice. These two buttons, which I believe just fall into place. Guessing A is this one, and B is this one. Like so. There we go. All nice and plush. And now let's just see how difficult it is to put the ribbon cable back in. Put the start and select membranes back on as well. I'm just thinking to myself now, what's the easiest way to do it? Um, okay. I just gotta make sure I pull these out, I guess, fully. I guess the best way is to do it like this, on the side, maybe? I remember the issues I, had, I used to have with the Nintendo DS Lite, that was awful. This, I hope, is nothing like that. See, I don't know how, how in they have to be, you know? I don't know how in the contacts have to be. I'm guessing until they're not like showing. That's one. This one's out a little bit. So I just need to get this in. Again, don't want to really mess this up. So let me get my um, ceramic tweezers. Maybe I can just pry this in this way. I can't because there's nothing to, there's nothing to clasp it on. Okay, can I just push this in? There's a little bit of gold contact showing, but I, so I don't know if that's actually in, in or not, but we will find out after I reassemble. Actually, to be honest, is, I think, is there a better way of doing this? Is there an easier way that we can test without having to put everything back? Let me put the motherboard screws back in. Let me do that first. That wasn't down all the way. So that's something we have to look out for. The power switch wasn't off all the way. So let's try that again. Fine. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that the screen works which is obviously our first priority. So I'm just gonna put the battery in real quick before I tighten everything up. Battery's in, does it turn on? Oh yeah. There we go, would you look at that? And it turned on first time, which is a good sign. Let me just, uh, let me screw everything back on guys, two seconds. Let's go these first. When I say these, I'm talking about the tri-wings. So that one goes up the top here. Okay, um, does it still click? L and I still feel absolutely fine. Put the battery in, cover on, finalise by switching back to the Philips. Make sure it's all nice and flat, which it is. And then, is it gonna switch on first time? Nice. All right. Let me just try it with the game. And what other game better than Pokemon Blue? Here we go. Turns on. Has the nice ping, speaker works. I can switch between small and large. Oh yeah. There it is. Ah, I'm gonna check, okay. 
One thing, I'll turn that down, sorry. One thing I was gonna check is, at where is this guy at if I press continue? Because this is clearly his, right? So if I go back, shall I press continue and see where we are? Uh, badge is five. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's go in, okay. Oh, okay, he's in like a, a, a dungeon, right? Oh, I know where this is. Oh, I've got a poke, oh dear. I've actually got a fight. I haven't played this game in ages, man. Okay, uh, Thundershock. Go on, my boy, it's not good enough. It's your time to die, Psyduck. Good night. So, what I need to do is test the save option, but I believe it works absolutely fine. If anyone's got any advice out there on, on how to tell if this is actually legit or not, as in the game itself, then that'll be much appreciated because I really want to double check and see if I've got the actual original copy. Whether that's checking the battery in the back or not, I have no idea. But that was actually really, really simple. I just took it out, I give it a little bit of a clean in terms of the on and off button, which is down here. And uh, first time it just seems to be working. So I'll try it again with sound. No issues at all, lovely. And this Game Boy is absolutely fantastic. Wow, that was actually super easy. Compared to the stuff that I've done with Nintendo DS Lights, this was a breeze. I don't regret starting with the Nintendo DS Lights, and I'm actually quite happy I've now stumbled across this because it makes me think, I don't understand motherboards a bit better, but in terms of like ribbon cable, I had no idea what ribbon cables were before I started this channel. So the fact that I got an in-depth look on a Nintendo DS Lite as the first thing I'd done, when it came to this, it made it, it made it a little bit easy. It was a little bit of a struggle to get it in, but we managed to get it in. The screen's on, working perfectly fine, and we managed to fix the on-off issue that we had. Again, just turn it on, it comes on straight away. I wanna go more in depth with this and I, I, I wanna look at the, the secret screw that we have that keeps the, the back hinge on here, as well as maybe look at the screen and other things. I will definitely be looking at a shell swap for this, 100%. If you did enjoy today's video and you are new around here, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out immensely, as well as hitting that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the content. I have loads of different content on my channel and this video is gonna be a new playlist that you'll see named Game Boy Advance SP. So keep your eyes on that to see Game Boy SP related videos in the future. As always, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.